Hello everybody and welcome to a new weekly vlog. So I'm not sure if this is going to be technically a reading vlog or just a week-long vlog um, because I don't know if it's just me but I don't really read in December. I feel like most times I'm either watching Christmas movies or watching Vlogmas. I am a big Vlogmas watcher so, so I have absolutely no idea how much reading is going to be done so I don't know if I'm going to call this a reading vlog but either way Welcome to a new vlog. So I am in a new cozy, comfy robe. This robe is from Aerie, if you're wondering, and it's super, super soft. And I'm also wearing... <laughs> can you even see that? Was that just ridiculous? I'm wearing uh, Christmas pajama bottoms. I am in the full-on Christmas mood. It's December 1st, and I'm so excited because it's Christmas. So I am doing a week-long vlog this week because I think um, I'm going to start decorating for Christmas. Me and my family have some of our trees up. We have two downstairs and then one tiny one in our dining room and then my sister has one in her room and I'm going to have a tiny one in my room. So I need to get that up and I also want to get up any other Christmassy um, decorations that I have. So I really need to clean my room first and then I need to decorate. But I wanted to vlog because I just thought that this would be a fun week to vlog because it's the start of basically the month of Christmas. But just in case there is reading, let me go and get the book I'm currently reading. So I'm currently reading um, Salt of the Sea by Ruta Sepetis, and I think I'm like about halfway. Um, and I was really enjoying this. I started reading this back at the end of October, and then um, I took a break because there was the Stranger Things readathon, and then I started reading The Toll in Supernova, and then I just never picked it back up. So I really would like to finish this before the end of the year. I don't want to go into the new year halfway through a book that I'm really enjoying. It's also very sad, and I really don't want to be sad this month. I want to be in the Christmas spirit. I want to be happy. So I really would like to get this done this week, um, just so that the rest of the month I don't have to worry about finishing this or being upset over this book. I can just get through it and be done. Um, but I am really enjoying it and I would like to finish it this week if possible. Um, but that's kind of it. I have a couple of books that I would like to start possibly, but um, I don't have like a December TBR and I made one for November and I only read like half the books so that I put on my TBR. So Oh well, that's part of the reason why I didn't make a December TBR because I didn't even make it through my November one and I've kind of come to the conclusion that I don't really want to do TBRs unless there's a certain month where I have a lot of books that I actually want to get to and think I will get to, but I just don't think TBR videos are what work for me because I think I'm more of a mood reader and I just kind of want to pick up what I want to pick up. I might end up rereading uh, Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. I might reread that because I read that a few years ago and that's kind of the only like Christmassy book that I have. Well, obviously like Harry Potter could work too. So I don't know. I don't know what my what my plan is for this month and I don't know how much reading I'm going to be doing because I'm going to be watching Vlogmas like a crazy person. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to start this vlog because I might start decorating my room for Christmas today. Uh, maybe tomorrow. It's going to be snowing starting today and into tomorrow and into Tuesday as well. So it's going to be like a really good cozy time to start decorating for Christmas. So I just wanted to start the vlog. I've been rambling for probably too long already. So I'm going to say goodbye for right now. Um, and I will check in when I start decorating because I need to actually do a voiceover for my December journal with me. But then after that, I will probably start getting my room ready to decorate for Christmas. So that's my plan. I will talk to you guys when I have a new update or I start decorating or something more interesting is happening. All right. So your girl has a hot chocolate with, hold on, let me put the mug down so you can see it has a little snowman on it. So that's precious. I made my own like DIY uh, Dunkin' Donuts Dunkachino, and it's okay. I think if I used like the Dunkin' Donuts coffee, it probably would taste more similar, but because I used just the coffee we had, it doesn't taste exactly the same, but it's all right. Also, love the conflicting messages I'm sending here, but I do have all of my Christmas decorations down here, plus a pair of ballet flats, which I'm going to move. 
but I have a box of some decorations and some pillows and stuffed animals and my ornaments that I got this year and some last year that I brought up to my room because I have a mini tree that I'm going to be putting in my bedroom. So that mini tree is downstairs, so I'm going to bring it upstairs and probably set it up tomorrow. Um, it's 8 o'clock right now, so I could like not be lame and do it now, but I kind of want to wait until tomorrow when it's bright out and I can film it and it's snowing. Also, I'm not showing my face because my face is super red and I don't know why and it's just not the look. So yes, I just want to say I cleaned my room and I got all of this stuff out. So I will be filming me decorating my room tomorrow and I'm very excited. But yeah, that is my little update. I haven't done any reading and I think I'm going to watch a Christmas movie because obviously. <music> everybody it's Tuesday I still haven't decorated for Christmas so basically I haven't done any decorations in my room yet because we were kind of decorating the like downstairs of our house for Christmas today I'm also in the same festive outfit and robe so it's fine but I'm going to probably decorate for Christmas in my bedroom tomorrow um, I think it's gonna be another snowy day and there's not going to be a whole lot going on other than what I could be doing decorating my room. So, so that's my plan. I think I'm going to decorate my bedroom tomorrow. So I think for the rest of the night, I'm going to eat dinner, um, maybe do some reading and watch another Christmas movie because if you didn't watch my journal with me video, I'll have it linked in the corner, which this corner, I'm going to laugh if I'm completely wrong. Wait. Yeah, this one, I think. Um, I'll have that up in a corner, whichever one it is, I could be wrong, um, because I made a whole list of movies I wanted to watch, and I've only watched a couple of them so far, so I want to make sure I get through all of the Christmas movies I've been wanting to watch, so I should take a look at that list and watch them. I watched Let It Snow last night, and um, it was just okay. It wasn't, I mean, it was fine. The best part was the cute little pig that's like at the beginning and the end, and that's it. Like, that little pig was the highlight of that movie. But yeah, I think my plan is is to watch more Christmas movies that I hopefully like more than Let It Snow. And I do want to continue reading. I haven't picked this up at all since I started this vlog, but I'm like halfway through, so I really should just make my way through it because it's really, really fast. The chapters are like only a couple pages long each, so I'm reading it really fast. I'm just scared because I know I'm going to be sad but I should really just finish it and then I don't even have to think about it anymore and then it'll be done and I'm enjoying it. It makes me sound like I'm not enjoying it but I am. It's just too sad <laughs> but I don't want to carry this into the new year like I said so I probably will do some reading later on tonight because I haven't done any reading for like a week so that's got to change. <laughs>
let me pause Haley's video. Hi, so I have been decorating my bedroom for Christmas kind of the past couple of hours. I did take a bit of a break for lunch, so I stopped right before I got to my Christmas tree and then continued doing that after lunch. So I thought I would just show you my Christmas tree and my ornaments because I have a Harry Potter themed Christmas tree because of course I do. And I wanted to go through and show you guys all the different Harry Potter ornaments that I have. I also will try to say where each one is from in case you are curious. So I have these little character ones. So I have this Harry Potter ornament. Um, where's the wrong one? The wrong one is right here, which kind of keeps turning and getting hidden and that's sad because I love Ron and then I have this Hermione one as well and I believe all of those came from Target I don't know if they have these exact ones again this year but I know that they have ones that are similar and they have ones of them on brooms I think so I would go and check Target out if you are looking for these also these like little ornaments like the stars and basically the gold and red ornaments that are kind of all over my tree those are all from Target I believe as well um, but I know like Target and Walmart all kind of have similar things when it comes to like these little ornaments so if you're looking for those those are the place to go and then the rest of the ornaments are Hallmark ornaments so I have this one up here that is Honeydukes and I believe I got this last year um, I don't know if I'll be able to find a link to it or any of these ornaments but I will try my best because this did come out last year so Maybe I'll be able to find it, but if not, I it might be on Amazon or something, so I would look around. And then I also have this one that's also from last year, and it is the Sorcerer's Stone book cover. And I don't know if you can tell, but like Harry and the Snitch are kind of 3D, where the rest of the book cover is just normal. So I really, really like those. And they came out with the Chamber of Secrets one for this year, so I had to pick this up because now that it's like... A series and like a thing I'm going to buy them all until I have all seven books so that's nice then I have this one over here and it has Harry um, on platform nine and three quarters and it does have a button so it does speak excuse me sir can you tell me where I might find platform nine and three quarters nine and three quarters think you're being funny do you the same every nine year quarters. packed with muggles of course come on oh, platform nine and three quarters this way excuse me could, could you tell me how to, uh, how to get onto the platform? <laughs> it's not too worrying, dear. Now, all you've got to do... Okay, so my camera just died in the middle of me filming that whole thing. But basically, the thing just goes until Molly says to have a running start if he's nervous. And that's, that's basically, we all know what it's going to say. And then I have this one that is new this year. And it is the uh, Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. Oh, I forgot to say, I think I got this one in 2015. Let me look at the box. Yeah, I got that one in 2015. So I might not be able to find that one either, but I will try my best. But this one is the Weasley's Wizard Wheezes shop. So the Weasley Twins shop. And I absolutely love it. The Weasley Twins are my favorite characters in Harry Potter. I always say that because things change. I also love Remus Lupin, but them, they, we love them. I didn't even English correctly. That's how much I love them. But yeah, I absolutely love this. The second I saw that this was going to be an ornament this year, I, I needed to have it. Um, I also have this tree topper, which is not my favorite, but the other one that I had, I do like, but it needs a new battery and I don't think we have the batteries for it, but it does light up, which is really cool, but I don't want to have this up on the tree if I can't light it up I just don't want like an extra wire if it's not even doing anything so I put that one on and I mean it's fine it does the job but yeah that is my tree and I will try my best to link everything down below for you guys if you want to try and find them for yourselves but yeah I finally have decorated my tree I also have a tree skirt and I also have this little stocking um target again I think Maybe like Target or Walmart or something. I think that they have these at Target every year. So I imagine that's where this came from. Um, but I also have this one that is like my childhood stocking. And as you can see, it has like the glitter paint um, that says my name on it. But it's like starting to come off. So I don't know where I'm going to put this. Um, I have a couple of decorations that I'm not quite sure where to put yet. But I'm going to figure that out. I think I'm going to continue decorating into the evening. Um, also... Also, I have an advent calendar, so I wanted to show you guys what I was getting in them because I have the advent calendar that the body shop is doing. So I'm going to set up at my desk. Oh, look at the tree in the background. Oh my God. So like I said, I have a body shop advent calendar 
that my mom got for me and my sister and I'm so excited to be opening them every day and I just realized that I should have been like telling you guys every day what I was getting but I didn't so I'm going to do that now. So day one was this rose dewy glow face mist and I am very interested to try it because I've tried the Mario Badescu ones but um, I know that brand is not like super great like they're not they don't have the best ingredients in their products so I am very interested to try this to see if it compares I also kind of want to look into the ingredients and just see just see what if there's any differences but I actually haven't tried it yet so maybe I should try it right now <laughs> I'm always so scared when I have to spray things on my face I always flinch <laughs> I don't know why I like twitched my nose like I'm a bunny I put the cap on and then sniffed it. Did, did anyone just see that? I That's embarrassing. It smells pretty good. It says it has, it's made with rose essence and raspberry for a dewy, healthy looking glow. I do look pretty glowy, but I think that's just because I just sprayed my face with something that's wet. So yeah, I'm very interested to try that out and to see if I like it. Um, I feel very refreshed actually. It's, it's nice and refreshing. So I'm really liking that. I will have to kind of report back on all of these things once I've tried them. And then on day two, I got this mango bath bomb and it smells so good. And I'm not a bath bomb. Oh my God, there's something in my contact. This is a mess so far. I'm a mess, but I am not a bath bomb person. I have never used one. I don't even really take baths. I do shower. Let me, let's make that clear. I do shower. I just don't take baths. So I'm tempted to take one now that I have this mango bath bomb. Um, but yeah, I just don't really do the whole bath thing. I know that that was like, I don't know, all of a sudden everyone became obsessed with taking baths a few years ago when like the lush bath bombs became like really popular, but I never got into it. My sister did. She likes bath bombs and taking baths, but I, I don't. So maybe I will either use this for myself if I ever take a bath or I can give her mine because she also has the same advent calendar that I do, but if she'll use it, then she should have it. So then today's thing that we got is this body, obviously it's gonna be the body shop. It's the Juicy Pear Shower Gel, and this smells really good. I'm very excited to try this because I've never tried any of the body shop's shower gels. I kind of am that type of person that I found a shower gel that I really like, and I think is really good for my skin, and I haven't really switched it up since, but I wouldn't mind switching it up occasionally because the scent is not like it doesn't have a scent it's the um shea moisture african black soap one i think uh, that's the one that i use so it doesn't really have a scent but it really helps my skin so i really like it so i haven't really tried anything else but i really want to try this and see if i like it if it makes my skin freak out or if it's fine but yeah i think this is like the cutest little shower gel you could also travel with this i think that's what's great about the sizes for the advent calendar so i'm very excited to try this and it just smells really good so everything that i've had so far has smelled really good so we love that so those are the things i got my advent calendar so far i will try to remember to show you guys what i get every day of that i'm vlogging yeah that's kind of my update for right now i think i'm going to continue to decorate because i still have a lot of decorations i have a sign that i got at walmart and i don't know where to put it and i have that stocking and i have like a garland that says my christmas um i have little like stockings that i put on like a string that i think i put over my door i also have a couple of different types of lights that i feel like i should put up because christmas time is the time to have lights up everywhere i just said lights up we love harry styles promo also i did do some reading last night i think if I'm remembering correctly from when I journaled last night, I think I read like 45 pages of this last night. So nothing crazy, but at least I did some reading. Um, I didn't watch a Christmas movie because I was in the mood to read and then I only read 45 pages. So that's fine. I really should try and finish this because it's such a fast read that there's really no reason for me to not be done with it by now, but we'll get there. I'm officially going to stop rambling on now and continue putting up some Christmas decorations. Um, and I'll show you guys what everything looks like when I finished because I don't know how long it's gonna take me because I, like I said, I have to figure out where everything's going because I have no clue where to put some of this stuff right now. So I'll probably just give you guys an overview of my room once I finish decorating. Also quickly, I do want to acknowledge 
this sweatshirt that I'm wearing. I feel like this is a very strange sweatshirt to just be wearing and not acknowledge it. I'm not even sure how long ago at this point. I think I was in high school, so at least three years ago, which... Or almost four. Oh my god. Okay. Anyway, crisis aside. So my sister and my mom were at Walmart and they got me this sweatshirt and they got one for themselves as well. I think theirs have different cats on them, but we all have pink sweatshirts with Christmas cats on them because of course we do. I feel like if I were to describe my personality in the sweatshirt, it would be this. It's pink, it has a cat on it, and it's Christmas. I mean, it doesn't get more me than this. Okay, I really just wanted to address it because I've been vlogging this whole time and I'm like, I'm wearing this sweatshirt and I'm not discussing it. So that needed to happen. Okay, back to decorating. <laughs> It is now, what is today? So it is now Thursday, December 5th, and I didn't open my advent calendar this morning, but that's not why we're here. <laughs> I just wanted to come on and kind of wrap up this vlog. I know that this wasn't even a full week, but this vlog is already like 25 minutes long, I think. I think I was editing it yesterday and it was about that time, so I don't want this vlog to be too long. But yeah, I'm just going to wrap up this vlog because it's already pretty long and I don't want it to be too long. My past couple of vlogs have been like uh, pretty long. They've been like 30 minutes and 40 minutes. So it's time for a shorter vlog. I did want to say that I did finish Salt to the Sea. Let me go and get it. So I did end up finishing Salt to the Sea by Rudis Petties and I gave it 4.5 stars out of 5. I enjoyed it even though obviously it was super upsetting and I cried quite a few times. Um, but I think it was really, really well done. I think it is very obvious that Ruta Spetties really takes her time when she researches and writes her books. Um, because I was watching Christine's video from an interview that she did with Ruta Spetties on her channel like three years ago when this book came out. And Ruta Spetties was talking about how she was already researching um, stuff for her Fountains of Silence book, which came out this year. Three years ago, she started researching for that book. So clearly she puts in a lot of time and effort into her books and it is so obvious. Um, yeah, definitely would recommend. It was really good. And then last night while I was watching the Barbie Nutcracker movie, I started Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. I really want to reread this trilogy before Chain of Gold comes out. And I think that comes out in March. I think it's March 3rd. 
could be wrong. Do not quote me, but I think it's March 3rd. So I kind of have a plan to read one book from this trilogy every month until March when Chain of Gold comes out. So yeah, I picked this up and I'm so, so glad I did. I absolutely love this trilogy. I think it's my favorite Cassandra Clare trilogy. They're like my favorite books by her. So very excited to be reading them again. And I already cried because Will Herondale. I missed him so much. <laughs> Anytime we get to see him, I get very emotional. They like mention his name in other books and I start crying. So the first time we see him in this book, which is like right from the start, he is like who we see first. I literally started crying, <laughs> but it's fine. I just love him. So yeah, this is what I'm going to be reading probably for the rest of December because like I said, don't really read a lot in December because Vlogmas, Christmas movies, Christmas activities, shopping, wrapping, there's a lot going on. But now that I got that wrap up out of the way, I'm going to wrap up this vlog. So if you celebrate Christmas, let me know what your favorite Christmas movie is, what your favorite Christmas book is, what your favorite Christmas song is. Basically, just talk to me about Christmas in the comments. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, talk to me about these books. If you've read Salt to the Sea, I'd love to know your thoughts. If you've read Clockwork Angel, let me know. Basically, just talk to me in the comments down below. But that is going to complete this vlog. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.